going to say. Now, a Shropshire nurse has just completed a 140-mile journey from coast to coast in the north of England by scooter. April Napala, who works at the Royal Shrewsbury Hospital, and her boyfriend, Jason Nelson, scooted from Workington in Cumbria across to Tynemouth on the northeast coast. They were raising cash to pay for a major cancer operation for her father back home in the Philippines. And I'm delighted to say April is with us now. Hi. Hi. How's your body bearing up after all that then? Well, it's a slow recovery, but I'm glad to say no broken bones yeah. and I'm still able to walk. Yeah, well, it's the legs, I presume. It's the really legs, struggle. yes. Gosh, absolutely. Uh, this bike here, yes. scooter, I mean, yes. it's a weird machine. I've never seen anything like that before. Yes, it's called a kick scooter, big wheel scooter that's what it's called yeah. uh, and because we're doing it as a fundraiser uh, it's basically just online we got the cheapest one we've got and um, it's lasted us all the seven days yeah i presume you can't scoot uphill can you no we can't so literally try as you might you get off the scooter and walk up all the pennines and the lake district mountains yeah it must be a great moment when you saw the coast on the other side oh it was glorious it was the most wonderful feeling it gave us a second win honestly and how did you come up with this idea um Honestly, we were thinking about um, trying, trying to raise funds for um, Dad's operation, and yeah. we were just really thinking something out of the box. And here we are, kick scooter it is. And, and tell us how he is at the moment. Dad's in high spirits, really. Um, the money that we've raised is more than enough, really, to just get him across. Um, but the ballpark figure is from anywhere 10,000 to 30 grand, really, um, pounds. And I'm continuing to fundraise. Um, my GoFundMe is still open, and I'm doing things locally. Yeah, because there's, it. the, it, it's all private health care, It's isn't all it, private isn't? health care in the Philippines, and I think that's something that a lot of people are struggling to understand as well, and that's what we're doing. And that's mm. what I'm trying to do for. And that must have driven you on when you yes. Yes, every the top day, of the Pennines every day. Or yes, Pennines, Lake District, everything. Yeah, what was um, it like, the scenery and stuff? Oh, it was gorgeous. Like, let alone everyone who's been to Cumbria or to the Pennines, they know the winding hills, mm. uh, they know the lakes. Um, but the cycle route that we were on, it's a mix on, of, of on road and off road. Um, and it was just glorious, really, just to get to the next step, to the next step, and finally the sea at the end of it. Yeah, and you and Jason must be pretty fit. Uh, well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm a nurse, so all my cardio is in the hospital. Uh, uh, but yes, we were happy to have done it. I had a massive fall yeah. in my second day. Uh, but like I said, I'm a nurse. Ten minutes, we were there, and then back on the road. Great. April, it's lovely to meet you. Congratulations, and thank good you. luck with the rest of the fundraising. Thank it goes you. Out. And best to your dad. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.